that's messy. <laughs> um, there's some people in my DMs, you know. I don't want to put them out on Front Street because I don't know where things might go. My name is Young Baby Tate. I am a singer, songwriter, rapper, producer, entertainer, actress, bad bitch, all of the above. People might know me from a lot of things. They might know me from getting in arguments on Twitter, or they might know me from my amazing music. They might know me from my song, I Am, which has gone viral on TikTok. They might even know me from my Megatron challenge, or they might just know me because I'm a person to know. <laughs> Some people would say I'm extremely talented, super cute, funny. All right, look, all the eyes on me. I mind my business. And then other people will say, she don't ever mind her business. <laughs> Some people say I'm annoying, but for the most part, I feel like the most things that people say about me is that like I'm just extremely talented, very creative, and very cute, and come with the looks at all times. From time to time, I'll get in arguments with stands, but that's just what stand culture is. You know, they like to come at me for my opinions because I'm a very opinionated person, and I'm not afraid to speak my mind about things that I feel like should be spoken about. So, you know, sometimes it rubs people wrong. They be like, I hate her, and I'll be like, I don't care. Everybody being everybody business, and I feel like because I make music, people think that I can't also participate in the world's conversations. I think the truth is I am a human being, and people should know that, and just let it be that. I would say that my biggest to date viral moment has been my song, I Am, that I just dropped in December of last year. It starts to go super viral on TikTok, has like over 30 million streams on Spotify. I would say that's my biggest moment to date. I knew that I wanted to do music very early in life. My mom makes music and I was just like pretty much introduced to the world of music as a child in the womb, honestly. So I knew very early I wanted to do music and I was introduced to it very early as a kid. My mom is Dion Ferris. She is a Grammy Award winning singer songwriter. I feel like black culture, you would know her for Hopeless, which was on Love Jones. A lot of people think it's called Penny with a hole in it, Penny with a penny with a hole in it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or you might know her from her song, I Know, which was like very pop leaning. And that's like, I know what you do when, yeah, yeah. She also sang on a song with Arrested Development called Tennessee, which I think her part is like everybody's favorite part of the song. It just runs in the family. But the, uh, the part where it's like, oh, won't you help me? That part, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, that's my mom. <laughs> She's an amazing person, amazing singer, and my biggest inspiration when it came to wanting to pursue music, because it's like, I have a Grammy on my dining room table every day and growing up, so like, I wanna get one. <laughs> I started making my own music around like 13 and started putting my music out when I was like maybe 19. And yeah, I've just been doing my thing ever since. My love life is going, um, it's going, it's going, it's gone. Honestly, I don't know at this point. I'm so confused. I have deleted numbers, blocked people so that I will stop like just trying because I'm just exhausted. I'm just exhausted. <laughs> That's messy. <laughs> um, there's some people in my DMs, you know, I don't wanna put them out on Front Street cause I don't know where things might go, you know. I've, I've hit a little comment or two and got slid in the DMs. But you know, I don't know where it's going yet, so I don't know. 21 Savage DM'd me a knife, and I was like, <laughs> what? I was so confused because I was like, does he want to kill me? Like, what does this mean? Did I upset him? But I think he was just trying to like hop down. But at the time, I was like talking to somebody, and I'm very loyal when I'm talking to somebody, which I need to stop doing. But 
I was just like, uh uh, like, no, bye, boy. But yeah, that was like, I think the craziest one because I was so confused of the meaning of the knife emoji. Like, did I do something wrong? <laughs> Definitely seeing other artists, you know, come on Love and Hip Hop and really show their journey, but also see how it catapulted their music career was definitely inspiring for my decision to join the show. This is no shade, but I have really good music. So being in this, this visibility would just like completely catapult the things that I'm already doing. And I think that for a lot of people, that's not the case. So I feel like my music is great and excited to see where things go. This is the life of an up and coming superstar. I'm excited for people to see that journey, for people to see my rise to stardom that I was always destined for. A lot going on, but this is the life. Hold on tight. This is the dream. If you like that video, subscribe to VH1's 11 Hip Hop YouTube channel for more.